The James Webb Space Telescope gave us the clearest picture ever of Proxima b, sparking energy and interest. This astounding picture shows us what one of the nearest Earth-like planets seems to be exhaustively. However, what privileged insights does this distant world stow away? Might there be life there? What could this new, clear picture show us about space secrets we haven't addressed yet? Tune in as we plunge further into these disclosures and perhaps find out more about our universe. Understanding the development of systems expects us to peer back across ages, exploring through the immense spread of the universe's set of experiences, which extends across billions of years. In this pursuit, the James Webb Space Telescope is an important resource, upgrading our capacity to notice the universe at uncommon distances. The telescope utilizes infrared technology to catch pictures, delivering visuals that are dissimilar to anything previously accessible. But just when we assumed we had seen the universe's privileged insights, another revelation showed up, one that changes everything we thought we knew about how the universe started. Consider the possibility that the primary galaxies aren't where we figured they would be. This capacity is likened to applying a modern photograph filter on a cell phone, which essentially upgrades the nature of the pictures. The high-level technological devices of the telescope permit researchers to explore the depths of space with remarkable clearness and detail, giving insights into the astronomical phenomena that shape our understanding of the universe. Astronomers utilize the James Webb Space Telescope to develop their comprehension of original vast events like the Big Bang and to disentangle the complicated processes of star and planet development. Moreover, they examine the environments of exoplanets outside our solar system to evaluate their potential to host life. Equipped with specific cameras and filters, the telescope can isolate and analyze explicit frequencies of light. This ability empowers researchers to test the visual data gathered, offering insights and potentially answering some of the most significant mysteries of the universe. The remarkable reach of the James Webb Space Telescope, both concerning existence, outperforms any past galactic instrument, facilitating momentous discoveries. For example, observations made with the telescope have led space experts to amend their understanding of the mass of certain immense galaxies viewing them as more significant than previously assessed. A milestone accomplishment was the telescope's capture of the very first super-clear picture of Proxima b, marking a critical achievement in space exploration. This discovery was based upon prior observations made in 2013, when researchers identified a subtle gravitational effect applied by Proxima b on its star, prompting further investigation. This examination highlights the harsh conditions of Proxima b. Its dark side, continuously turned away from its star, is incredibly cold, perhaps freezing water. Orbiting Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system after the Sun, Proxima b allows us to see the Alpha Centauri system as it was long ago. This perspective not only extends our insight into Proxima b but also the dynamics of nearby star systems. Proxima b, just 25 light-years from the Sun, is among the most Earth-like exoplanets found. Regardless of this, it's significantly different from Earth. For instance, a year on Proxima b lasts only 11.2 days, and the planet is around 30% bigger than Earth, adding to its uniqueness. Additionally, Proxima b's proximity to its host star, Proxima Centauri, is strikingly close just 7.3 million kilometers away. This distance is under 5% of the vast expanse that separates Earth from the Sun, contributing to various extreme conditions on the planet. Proxima Centauri itself is a red dwarf star, significantly smaller and cooler than our Sun, and emits far less energy. From the surface of Proxima b, Proxima Centauri would appear as a huge red circle overhead, multiple times bigger in apparent size than our sun viewed from Earth, but much dimmer. This star's position within the so-called habitable zone may allow for the presence of liquid water on Proxima b. However, this doesn't imply Earth-like conditions. Imagine preparing for a campaign to Proxima b, a world that challenges our ideas of livability. It's essential to note that Proxima b could be tidally locked with its star. 
This implies that one half of the globe endlessly lounges in light while the opposite side remains shrouded in perpetual night. The ramifications for potential life forms are severe. The sunlit side could experience scorching temperatures high enough to boil off any surface water, while the dark side could become so cold that any atmospheric moisture would likely freeze. This polarity creates a planet of stark contrasts and extreme conditions, presenting significant challenges for any form of life that could exist there, as well as for human explorers contemplating a visit. The unique and harsh states of Proxima B make it an intriguing subject of study, but they also highlight the resilience required for survival on such a world. Embarking on a journey to Proxima Centauri presents a considerable challenge, not least because of the curious characteristics of the star itself. Proxima Centauri is a small but incredibly active star, with atomic reactions occurring near its surface, contributing to its overall instability. This proximity of atomic activity to the star's surface results in unpredictable and extreme behaviors that significantly affect its environment. Planets like Proxima b, which orbit within the star's habitable zone, are particularly vulnerable to these hostile impacts. The strong magnetic fields of Proxima Centauri create extreme conditions, including intense radiation and storms of high-energy particles. These phenomena present serious obstacles to the development and sustainability of life as we know it, establishing an environment that is, at best, hostile. Among the main dangers to any budding life forms on Proxima b are the frequent and extreme solar flares emitted by Proxima Centauri. These solar flares can potentially be devastating, with the ability to obliterate nascent biological developments. Research shows that Proxima b receives roughly 15 times more solar wind radiation than Earth, exposing the planet to harsh cosmic weather that would challenge the resilience of any form of life. In a striking example of this star's volatility, in April 2021, Proxima Centauri released the most powerful solar flare ever recorded, which was 20 times more intense than the strongest flares observed from our own Sunday. Despite the severity and often threatening conditions surrounding Proxima Centauri, the interest in finding a potentially habitable planet in this star system remains undiminished. This curiosity was further fueled by a fascinating development in late 2020 when researchers detected a mysterious signal emanating from the Alpha Centauri system. The signal, identified at a frequency of 982.07 MHz, was not associated with any known Earth-based satellites, leading to intense speculation and excitement about the potential presence of intelligent life nearby. The allure of uncovering hidden knowledge, combined with the innate human drive to explore the unknown, continues to inspire scientific inquiry and imagination regarding Proxima Centauri and its planets. The dream of visiting Proxima Centauri and possibly finding extraterrestrial life feels a bit more attainable today, thanks to new technologies and ideas being explored. This long-held vision, once confined to the realm of science fiction, is now edging closer to reality as scientific endeavors tackle the monumental challenge of interstellar travel. One such initiative is the Breakthrough Starshot Project a remarkable effort aimed at significantly reducing the travel time to Proxima Centauri. Instead of the many hundreds of years it would currently take to reach the closest star system, these endeavors aim to cut the journey down to just a few decades. While this still sounds far off, it marks an immense step forward in our ability to explore the universe. To achieve this ambitious goal, Researchers are delving into exciting concepts like propelling spacecraft at nearly the speed of light. This would involve harnessing revolutionary new technology to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. One idea includes using the power of light itself to propel spacecraft. By employing powerful lasers to send small, lightweight probes hurtling through space at astonishing speeds, we could make interstellar travel more plausible. The technology being explored has the potential to take us far beyond what conventional rocket engines can achieve. However, even with these advanced concepts, interstellar travel remains incredibly challenging. If we were to rely on current technology, a trip to Proxima Centauri would take around 6,000 years, 
an incomprehensibly long time for any human mission. As space exploration progresses, new initiatives and advancements are constantly being developed. One of the most exciting of these is the Starshot Initiative, which is specifically focused on overcoming the vast distances between stars. Starshot is investigating the potential of using very powerful lasers to propel small, high-speed spacecraft toward Alpha Centauri, the star system that includes Proxima Centauri. These spacecraft, while small, could gather crucial data about distant planets, helping us better understand the possibilities for life beyond our solar system. This approach could significantly accelerate space travel. By directing intense laser beams at spacecraft equipped with reflective sails, these vehicles could accelerate rapidly to near-light speeds, potentially reaching Alpha Centauri in just 20 to 30 years. Although these missions would be automated, they would greatly advance our understanding of the universe. Adaptive optics play a crucial role in these missions by correcting distortions caused by Earth's atmosphere, which affects both starlight and propulsion lasers. These advancements ensure that lasers remain focused and effective during space travel. Despite the challenges, advancements in laser propulsion, adaptive optics, and spacecraft design are promising. Interstellar travel is evolving from a distant dream into a viable endeavor, potentially allowing us to reach Proxima Centauri much sooner than anticipated. What once seemed like fantasy is now within reach, possibly transforming our exploration of the stars. Even with all the advancements, numerous technical, logistical, and financial obstacles must be addressed. Nevertheless, the determination to move forward fueled by the human desire to explore the unknown, indicates that these challenges will not deter us from longing to reach the stars. The question now isn't if. We will one day travel to Proxima Centauri, but when? The ambitious plan is for the spacecraft to reach Alpha Centauri in just 22 years, propelled by the power of lasers. These lasers would generate an astonishing 100 gigawatts of energy which is about equal to the total amount of power used by the entire U.S. at any given moment. This impressive energy output is necessary to accelerate the spacecraft to a significant fraction of the speed of light, allowing it to cover the vast distance between Earth and Alpha Centauri in just over 20 years. However, despite the promise of this plan, there are still many challenges to overcome. Navigating through the immense void of interstellar space may sound straightforward. However, the spacecraft would need to avoid interstellar debris, tiny particles that could severely damage the spacecraft traveling at such high speeds. Even if the spacecraft manages to avoid these hazards and successfully reaches Alpha Centauri, there's still the issue of communicating back with Earth. Distance between our planet and Alpha Centauri is so great that any signals sent from the spacecraft would take four years to reach Earth. This means that even after the probe arrives, it will take an additional four years before we know whether it succeeded in its mission or what data it was able to gather. Managing this delay in communication adds another layer of complexity to an already challenging mission. Once the initial launch system is successfully developed and tested, it could pave the way for a future where space missions become significantly more affordable. The high costs and challenges associated with interstellar exploration have long been a limiting factor, but with advancements like laser propulsion systems, launching additional probes to explore distant stars could become much more feasible. One of the most thrilling possibilities is that these advanced probes wouldn't have to be limited to a single target. While Alpha Centauri, as the closest star system, is the most obvious first goal. Other systems, like Proxima Centauri and even more distant ones, could soon be within our reach. Each new mission could provide us with valuable insights into the planets orbiting these distant stars, especially exoplanets, which are planets located outside our solar system. By sending multiple probes, we can gather a broader range of data, providing us with a clearer picture of what these exoplanets are like. Furthermore, the more we explore, the more likely we are to discover new worlds that might be capable of supporting life, which remains one of the most significant questions in science today. Investigating exoplanets is a critical part of these missions because of what they represent. 
The possibility of finding life beyond Earth. Exoplanets have captured the imagination of researchers and the public alike, as they offer us the chance to answer perhaps humanity's oldest question, are we alone in the universe? Many of these exoplanets have been found to be within the habitable zone of their parent stars. This region is sometimes called the Goldilocks zone because it isn't too hot and not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. Since water is a crucial requirement for life as we know it, the presence of water on an exoplanet raises the likelihood that life could potentially exist there. The study of exoplanets has progressed significantly since the first confirmed discovery of planets outside our solar system in 1992. These early discoveries were of planets orbiting neutron stars, an environment entirely different from our own. However, as technology has advanced, researchers have identified a multitude of exoplanets, many of which are similar in size to Earth and exist in their star's habitable zone. These Earth-like exoplanets are particularly exciting because they may have conditions that could support life, either as microorganisms or perhaps even more complex organisms. Each new discovery brings us closer to determining whether life exists elsewhere in the universe. Examining distant exoplanets can greatly enhance our understanding of planetary formation and diversity. By studying how these planets develop and change, we learn more about our own solar system's origins. Comparing the atmospheres of exoplanets with those of Earth, Venus, or Mars helps us understand how planetary conditions evolve. This knowledge can also predict Earth's future climate and the factors that influence a planet's ability to support life. Moreover, research on exoplanets addresses fundamental questions. What conditions allow for life? How common are Earth-like planets? Could some planets be even more hospitable than Earth? As we send more probes and analyze more data, we'll better understand our place in the universe. In the future, with a well-established laser propulsion system, we could envision a fleet of small, fast probes exploring a variety of star systems. Each would be tasked with gathering data, analyzing the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, and searching for signs of water or other conditions essential for life. The probes could send back information about the chemical composition of these planets, the temperatures on their surfaces, and whether they have moons or magnetic fields, all of which are significant factors in determining if life could survive there. Furthermore, it's not just about finding life. Investigating exoplanets also allows us to better understand the diversity of planetary systems. Some exoplanets may have conditions that are incredibly different from anything we've seen before, gas giants with massive storms, frozen worlds covered in ice, or planets with extreme volcanic activity. Each of these discoveries expands our knowledge of the universe and helps us understand how planets function on a fundamental level. Sending more probes to distant exoplanets helps us unravel cosmic mysteries more quickly. As we explore and discover various planets, including those in habitable zones like the Goldilocks zone, our understanding of the universe and the potential for life evolves. Advances like laser propulsion now make these missions more attainable, suggesting that answers to some of our most significant cosmic questions might be within reach. Since their discovery in the mid-90s, exoplanets have profoundly reshaped our perspective on the universe. Once thought to be theoretical, we now know these planets are ubiquitous, with many resembling Earth and capable of supporting life. This realization has spurred intense interest in these distant worlds, particularly those with conditions favorable for liquid water, an essential component of life. However, even beyond the search for life, the exploration of exoplanets provides valuable insights into the formation and evolution of planetary systems. By studying these distant worlds, researchers can learn more about how planets form, how they interact with their stars, and how their atmospheres develop. This knowledge, in turn, helps us understand more about our own solar system and the history of planets like Earth.